What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? WrestleMania night one ended at like midnight, so apologies for me not getting this out uh, last night. I was dead tired and I went to bed. But let's talk about WrestleMania night one. The show kicked off with Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley, mommy versus the man. Becky came out with like a full uh, book theme for her entrance because of her book, The Man, not not your average average girl. Um, actually, a good book. I recommend going and buying it. I did. Her gear was book inspired. She had like pages from her book on her gear. Very cool, actually. Mommy came out with a live band, Motionless and White. The band that plays her entrance theme came out, played the entrance live. That was awesome. Rhea got a big entrance. Let's get into the match, though. Rhea and Becky went back and forth for most of the match before Rhea finally took control and got Becky. Rhea Ripley retained her Women's World Championship as she should. The next match on this card was the chaotic six-pack ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. You had Awesome Truth, A-Town Down Under, New Catch Republic, The New Day, The Judgment Day, and DIY all fighting for a chance to get the Undisputed Tag Team Championships. But there was a catch. Both sets of tag titles had to be grabbed before the match was over. They were put on separate hangers above the ring. Guys, A-Town Down Under are your new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. I love Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. I think both of them are fantastic. I think they're going to be great um, going forward. Love this for them. Very happy they have the tag titles. Another the new SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Now for the Raw Tag Team Championships, teams kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. DIY got a DX entrance, by the way, which was awesome. Right? Miz and R-Truth got their entrance. Judgment Day got a dope entrance as well with sick gear. The mask Damien was wearing was very cool. But Miz and R-Truth, R-Truth at 52 years old, finally gets his WrestleMania moment in front of fans. R-Truth and The Miz are the Raw Tag Team Championships. The tag team titles are finally split. And the Judgment Day no longer has a stranglehold on the tag team division. The next match we got was Rey Mysterio and Andrade. Sorry, that's Dragon Lee. But Rey Mysterio and Andrade versus Dirty Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. This was actually a decent match. I really thought uh, Dominic and Santos should have won. I still believe that wholeheartedly. They should have won. But they didn't. Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson, the former Eagles center and one of the current Eagles O-linemen, got involved in the match, jumped over the barricade in Lucha Mask with blue jeans and boots on. Very much workhorse type of stuff. Absolutely took out Dominic, took out Santos. Helped Ray and Andrade pick up the win. Carlito didn't turn, which I thought was a mistake. I really thought that Carlito should have turned, but he didn't. But it's okay. Ray and Andrade get the WrestleMania moment with Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson helping them out. And Dominic and Santos take the L. So Mommy's the only one from the Judgment Day to have a win on WrestleMania weekend. The next match on the card was Yeet versus No Yeet, Brother versus Brother, Uso versus Uso. Twin versus twin. Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. Me personally, I liked the idea of this match. It just didn't hit for me, right? I really thought we'd have a longer match. I think they had like 15 minutes or something. Uh, I kind of timed it. I think it was like 15 minutes. I mean, I thought we should have had more in this match. Jimmy kind of coaxed Jay in, like, telling him, hey, I'm sorry, I was wrong, it was, uh, my mistake, I, I apologize, can you forgive me? Jay then went to, like, hug Jimmy, they almost had a moment where they hugged, and then Jimmy super kicked Jay. Jay kicked out after the frog splash, then Jay speared Jimmy, frog splash on top of Jimmy, Jay picks up the win, one, two, three. The only real gripe I have about this match, the only real gripe. They didn't get a stare down moment. I really thought the Usos deserved a moment where they could stare down each other. Stare each other down. Have that moment. This was their dream match. It's in the city of brotherly love. It almost makes too much sense. Just have a stare down between the brothers. 
right before the match started. Like, maybe get emotional, you know. But you had Jay fly over the top rope, take out Jimmy in the middle of his entrance. It was an okay match. It did feel rushed, though. The next match on the card is Team Babyfaces versus Team Damage Control. Jade Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair versus Dakota Kai, Kyrie Sane, and Asuka. I really wanted Damage Control to win. I knew they weren't going to, but I really wanted them to. Dakota looked good in her first, like, real, real match back. Asuka looked good. Um, we gotta talk about Asuka, man. She's like 0-7 at Mania. What's going on? I remember when this girl was, like, undefeated at NXT. She was about to be, like, the next one. And she ain't won at Mania in the, on the main roster, bro. That's crazy. Crazy. And then Kyrie Zayn takes the L as well. It was not for the tag team title, so they are still your tag team, women's tag team champions. Jade Cargill got the pin on Dakota Kai. I did not like that. Me personally, I don't think Dakota should have took the pin. Jade looked like a star, though, in the match. She looked like a powerhouse. And Bianca, Naomi, and Jade come out on top. No, no real problem with the call. I knew it was going to be Bianca, Naomi, and Jade because they weren't going to have Jade lose her first Mania match ever. But... Still, though, I think it should have been, like, Kyrie or Asuka to take the pin and not Dakota Kai. The next match on the card, and this is my biggest gripe of the night. I was live for it with a buddy of mine. I did, like, a full rant on it. I was furious. Sami Zayn versus Gunther. Now, hear me out. I like Sami Zayn. I do. However. However. Wrong person, right time. It was time for Gunther to top the, drop the IC title, and he did. After 666 days, he is no longer the IC champion. However, Sami Zayn is the wrong guy to be champion right now. In my opinion, I still think we should have held out for Sheamus or returned Sheamus early. We didn't. Gunther takes the L. His first time being pinned on the main roster since being called up. Since winning the IC title, the undefeated streak of Gunther and the title reign of Gunther is over. Sami Zayn is your new IC champion. I just think it was the wrong call. I just think it was the wrong call. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. I think it was the wrong call. Sorry about it, but it was. And then, we get to the main event. Acknowledge your tribal chief, ladies and gentlemen. Because Roman Reigns teamed with The Rock. Against Seth Rollins and that Cody crybaby politician, Cody Rhodes, in the biggest main event in WrestleMania history. The biggest tag match in WWE history. I can promise you that. Rock looked fan-freaking-tastic, man. Amazing by The Rock. For 12 years, he hadn't been in the ring, and he comes out and does that? He absolutely cooked. Mama Rhodes, look at your boy. Mama Rhodes. Then he yelled at the ref. It's like, hey, if you count while we're out here, I will fire you. I am the final boss. I am your boss, bro. It was a great match. Rock and Roman pick up the dub. Tonight is bloodline rules. I really hope and I am praying that we see Solo we see Jimmy. We see Jay turn on Cody and come back to the bloodline. We see Zilla Fatu. We see Jacob Fatu. We see Tamatanga. We see John Cena. Stone Cold. Maybe even The Undertaker since he is in town. Maybe he comes out. Maybe he's going to help Cody against The Rock. Although I don't want you to, Undertaker, because I appreciate you and I like you and I don't want to hate you. I do think, though, unfortunately tonight, Cody is going to win the title. I don't want him to. I just got a bad feeling about tonight. But, Seth got beat up bad, and it does make me wonder. Is, he's dropping the title tonight, but it also makes me wonder, is Damian Priest going to cash in? Let's say Drew loses. Damian, this is your... First of all, you should have cashed in last night. You're an idiot. Like, it's so stupidly booking him. But, let's say Seth does win tonight. Some miracle, because he's messed up. His knee's messed up. I want to see it. I want to see Damian cash in on Seth. Also, they did the callback to last year's ending of Mania where they had Roman up there on the ramp holding the title and Cody in the ring not knowing what to do next. I love it. Tonight's going to be great. I'll be live with it on my YouTube channel. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.